Okay. Here we are. We're here. We are uh, visiting our friend Paul in the middle here. You might recognize him from uh, some of the videos we've uh, uploaded to some of the sites. And on the uh, other side of Paul is Donnie, and on the other side is Bobby. This is to all the girls in Australia. And any other country. <laughs> yeah, baby. Me, Bobby, and Donnie got high together on and off for about 10 years. Uh, between the three of us, we got about 60 years of addiction, and we've managed to managed to accomplish today uh, just around uh, 11, 12 years of recovery, so we're pretty happy about that. But we're here today supporting our friend Paul, more than that, Donnie says, uh, who has uh, some problems with himself, in the, and he's in the hospital here getting some surgery done. But uh, we're also here to talk to him uh, about his experience uh, in detox recently and, um, and the fact that they really wanted him to go on methadone, uh, con you know, we advised him not to go on it. And uh, so, Paul, uh, apparently they asked you to go on methadone a few times. Yeah, they did. Yeah. Uh, basically, they told me, you know, because of the amount of heroin I was using, that uh, my detox would be a lot better. And... Uh, <laughs> that's the way to go and it would be less painful and basically there wasn't much else available to me other than uh, methanol. And you said you didn't want to get on it and they that's approached right. you numerous times. Well then basically after that then all the staff were like you know why are you why are you know it's not this is all the staff were kind of pushing it on me saying that it's not as addictive it's a pain reducer and you can do a taper and da 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 da, da you know and uh, it's just like it was almost like it was an organized thing for them to try to get me to be on methadone. Yeah. Before Since you. I've even been here. The the addictions doctor came up. You know, I kind of slightly described to him a little bit of my situation, and the first thing he said, he said, "Well, we have to get you on methadone." Yeah. Before you went into detox, I warned you not to go on it. Uh, That's right. From and I didn't tell you why. And uh, when you got out of detox, you actually left detox because you got so fed up with them trying to get you on methadone. That's right. And when you got out of detox, I sort of told you why I didn't want you to get on it. It's because you'd be on it for the next 10 years. That's right. And, uh, you, you know, uh, on either side of Paul is both Donnie and Bobby, and they got something to say about the methadone program. We'll start with Bobby over here. Bobby Mack here. You, uh, <laughs> I'm camera shy. He's camera shy. Camera shy Bobby Mack. Yes. Uh, I would have to agree that the uh, the methadone is definitely not a good idea to go because uh, you're just you're you're uh, you're bondage to your addiction. <coughs> you can never it's hard to get off it, and it's it's I see a lot of people coming off and they don't get off it too much. It's not too easy. Yeah, you don't seem to. It doesn't. They call it a taper program or a maintenance program, but it, most people are on it for for a long, long time. There are those. I see people on it for. 15, 20 years, and they're still on. They're not. They're not getting off anytime soon. It's too much. Too much of a, a crutch for people to stay. It's a, you're getting high from. You're getting high by the system. That's it. Yeah. For free. And uh, you've had a, an extensive history of addiction, and you've got some clean time now. How long you been clean? I've been clean six years in June 16th, and uh, I was downtown on Hastings for probably 12 or 13 years, doing a lot of harming people, harming myself. Living, living off of people at their uh, at their costs, you know, hurting people. Yeah. And today it's totally different for me. Uh, good life today, good friends, and uh, yeah, just plan on staying clean and living my life. And uh, you do a lot of giving back and helping out. And I outreach. try to I give a lot of things to God. Every morning I wake up, I say thanks, and uh, I hope I have a good day today. And usually my day is pretty good when I start off that way. Amen. Yeah. Plus I got all these other guys that depend on me. Yeah. Three guys in the room today. <laughs> Looking after these guys, keep me in check all the time. Keep me clean. And the, on the other side is Donnie. Donnie used to get uh, methadone uh, any chance he could. Mm -hmm. Not really on the prescription program because it was readily available at any given I was time. On both. Yeah. What's the most you ever took? Uh, uh, I think and I don't mean prescribed either. Oh, uh, 440, something like that? Well, at one time. Yeah. How many people would that kill today? I don't know if it would kill anybody, but it would really I, mess them up. No, it would kill. It would probably kill oh, about I'm ten not people. Sure about <laughs> oh yeah. I'm, I, it could, yes. Yeah. yeah. And how do you feel about methadone? Well, you know, I don't think it's good for recovering addicts. They do have the six-week program, which is about the only thing that I would ever suggest. If anyone's going to get on it and their mind's made up about getting on it, is to take it and keep it real short, mm -hmm. because once that gets into your bone marrow you're screwed 
Yeah, you've detoxed from methadone before. I did. It's pretty painful. It's very bad. Do you consider it harder to come off than heroin?